Think about us, where we are, what we doing. Even your telephone number, they track you with that. You know where you are, where you're going. Your GPS, they can pull up your house from the satellites and everything. So it's like life is steady being controlled by one entity or another in life. So it's like, even with the kids dealing with all of the different things in life, you look at them and you see that so many things are dragging and pulling them from one way or the other, just back and forth sway. You got so many things that they deal with on TV. They looking at too much for one. Their eye, their eye gate is open to too many different things. The video games, the shooting, the killing. Looking at all of this desensitizes their mind, desensitizes their feelings about If we could just control some of the things in life, yeah. we would be a lot better off. Oh, yeah. Even in that, you got the kids dealing with all the things on TV, and then they're looking at these people to help them find their identity all right. through all the reality shows and Housewives of Atlanta and all that little crap. And it's like they're looking at that and it's like, I want to be like her, I want to be like him, I want to be like this, I want to be like that. image of God, of who we are. So we're supposed to be the one impacting the world, impacting society. So with image, your God-given likeness, your God-given representation, your everyday walk is with a purpose. When we're walking in the image of God, that's the difference between identity and image. Identity is trying to follow every path that's out there. You know, you, you, you don't think for yourself, you don't decide for yourself, you follow everything else, but with your image, you have a purpose in life. Say that. So it's like you wake up every day knowing, you wake up knowing every day, even though you have these things in life, you battling back and forth with everything in life, the issues of life, even though that you have those, you still know when you wake up that you still have the image of God, the representation of God, because the image of God gives you purpose. Yes. The image of God gives you intelligence. Yes. It gives you direction. It gives you how to deal with things in life. Yeah. It makes a difference in your everyday walk by you walking through the image of God. All right. Amen. Therefore, with us being children of God, image of God, representations in the light of the world, we should be making an impact yeah. right, in the world today. Yeah. Okay. 30 more seconds. 
31 seconds, okay? Okay. <laughs> then God said, let us make human beings in our own image to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth, the small animals that scurry along the ground. 27, so God created human beings in his own image, in the image of God. He created them, male and female. He created them. So as image of God, let's make an impact on the world. Let's be the light of the world, and let's change things. Amen.